Good evening, my name's Elise Lonsdale and once again we're in Melbourne for some twilight photography. It's September the 11th, 2012. I'm just standing near the newly reopened Hamer Hall and I only hope that my crude holding of the iPhone in the right position will actually create a good picture of me, but anyway, um, I'll probably be commentating behind the camera more than in front of it, but at least we're here. It's twilight and the sun is due to set at around about six minutes past six. By my reckoning, it's really about 5.59 now, so less than 10 minutes to go before the sun sets. And it's pretty crude, but tonight's photos are all about watching the reflections on the uh, river um, above the normal spot. I couldn't shoot from here last year because this part of Princess Bridge was under renovation. The sun has just set a matter of minutes ago. Now one of the things I forgot about is the lack of 3G coverage in a Melbourne uh, in, the, in the Melbourne CBD and I believe this is uh, similar for other Australian capital cities where you get full signal strength for your mobile phone for the data but there's no bloody bandwidth on it. That's because it's oversubscribed and at the moment my Facebook can't tell me where I am. Uh, I, did, I did actually have it running, it did actually say I was near the new, new Hamer Hall. So I posted a photo and I shouldn't have because it's chewed up all the bandwidth and uh, the phone is now just about unusable. Had I um, just posted a normal post with text I would have snuck that through without there being an issue. There's actually no zoom on this camera, so we will just have to describe it as best we can. The lights on the Melbourne, or the Victoria University rather, have, turned, have now come on. And over the next half hour we should see more city lights come on and this scene should look a lot nicer. In the meantime, I'll go back to taking some still photographs and uh, maybe I'll make another Facebook post if uh, Facebook can figure out where I am. There's just a scene of... Um, the still traffic or the traffic jam at the Princess Bridge, or I guess you could say the extreme north end of St Kilda Road, which is sort of really where St Kilda Road turns into uh, Swanson Street and becomes part of the Central Business District. Um, we're actually looking directly at Federation Square, and uh, in the next few weeks I'll do some photography from over there because there are some good photos to be had. I don't want to stray too far away from the camera. But one of the things that always fascinates me are the blue lights that come on on this, on this Hamer Hall building. So we'll see those as the night progresses. This is quite a nice shot of um, Collins Street looking past the Federation Square with the Princess Bridge in the foreground. And the reason I'm here, I've never been here before because it hasn't existed. This is the, I guess you could call a concourse of the new Hamer Hall. That, that funny looking thing there directly ahead is a lift. I suspect. Uh, there's a, a staircase that goes down to the lower level of this building and the South Bank precinct as there used to be. But uh, in recent times part of, part of the renovations was to put all this nice part of it in and people can come here and, and enjoy and uh, that's looking back towards South Bank proper and the traditional places I used to be. So I might have a bit of a look around here. Still not enough lights yet to get some reflections, but nonetheless, uh, looking over towards the east, across the bridge, or well, the northeast as it is, um, even at this time of night, gives us quite a nice photo and um, will be worth revisiting from time to time. That there is the Art Centre Spire and will make a lovely photo once it's all lit up and at the right time of the day, or the right time of the night rather. No, nothing's wrong with your camera. That's the back of the Napoleon sign. There must be a Napoleon exhibition on here at the, uh, at the uh, National Art Gallery or the Art Gallery of Victoria. What we're looking at is this thing called the water wall. And I've got some blind, I've got a, a friend of mine who's, uh, who's blind coming over from Perth early next year and I'm going to bring her up here if I can and I'm just going to grab her hand and stick it out and let her touch the wall and not tell her what's happening at first and see the reaction. I've done it before with people who are vision impaired, they don't mind it. Because um, it is a fascinating thing at the, at the entrance of this uh, 
beautiful gallery that there's this wall with water coming down it. So um, there's a lot of watery things around here actually. Let's go and have a look at the fountains and see if I can't get some photos from Nerissa. My mother used to call this the moat. Well I guess it's what it is because the front of the art gallery has, or the old part of the art gallery has, it's I guess a bit like a moat around the front of it like an old castle but um, there's a, a walkway to get into it where the water wall is but on one part of this waterway is a, uh, a lot of fountains and they've got some lights under the fountains and I'm making this photo specifically for you Nerissa if you're watching and it's twilight you can see the sky in the background looking south down St Kilda Road with the building on the, the left of the right of the image and just dead ahead is the uh, is the fountain I'm gonna see if I can get a photo of it from here and um, then I'll head back up to where my normal spot because by now the, the lights will be on but I just thought it would be good to digress and, and come down to the art gallery and have a quick look at the lights including the water wall my many thanks would like to go to whoever designed this new section of the Newhamer Hall or the back of it which is where I am now we're a long way away from the front it looks really nice up at the front I can tell you but as we pan around you'll see this ledge which this never ex really existed which is really above the uh, eastern end of the South Bank precinct which means we can get up here and in one foul swoop film Prince's Bridge Collins Street which is where we're looking at now Flinders Street Station as we pan around to the north sorry about the camera shake there's the direct looking at the Flinders Street Station and even over to uh, the buildings beyond that wish I brought my telescope with me so I could read what those signs are. The university, traditionally one of the things we like to aim our camera at while we're doing these nighttime sessions. And over towards the Rialto and beyond. That is the South Bank precinct slightly obscured by a tree. These trees will get their foliage back on them in the next, oh I guess six weeks. Certainly well before the end of October. So we're uh, early to mid-September now, so we've still got a few weeks to go. So thank you to whoever invented this bit, because it means we can get some photos from up here, which we've already done. And um, of course we've still got the traditional lower levels, where we get closer to the water, which has been my traditional shooting spot. So there's lots to photograph, lots to do here in Melbourne, it's a good place, so uh, yeah, let's enjoy. Well this just about wraps it up for my twilight photography on September the 11th, 2012. I um, probably shouldn't have gone down to the art centre because I missed out on most of the good twilight. That photo is pretty good. However, the best is yet to come because it is only early September. If I come here a little bit later in the year I'll get better photos because the sun will be on a slightly different angle and the, and the sky will have a slightly different hue to it. This is the way the Hamer Hall looks, that's where we just were. Um, if I, I'm not sure that I've got photos of the old Hamer Hall from this angle. I do have plenty of them, but they're uh, from a different angle. Yeah, so I think what we'll do is at some point we'll hop down onto the northern side of the river just near Flinders Street Station there and we'll photograph it from there. I know I've got some of that so I can do the comparisons. But it's, it's certainly been an interesting night. We had a fight with the camera because the batteries went flat and I couldn't set the date properly. Thank you to Fuji's oversight in the design of the, uh, the menu system. However, but we're still able to take photos on it. And I might just get one more little photo. Uh, as you can see in the viewfinder, it's looking quite nice. That's that same shot. So, yeah, if we can just... I don't have a cable release, so I have to use the timer. There you go. It's probably a little bit overexposed, that one, so I'll see if we can't. It might be alright, actually. Let's see if I can go back into review mode. Got to watch the battery power here at the moment. We've uh, got two sets of less than desirable batteries. Yeah, no, that's okay. Okay, so this wraps up September the 11th, 2012, and we'll be back to do some more photos between now and Christmas time. So from Melbourne's Princess Bridge, 
Good night.